Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. Schools would typically be taking the time after legislative session to be crafting their own budgets for the next school year, but the lack of state budget has left districts in limbo. The majority of schools are working on what you and I would probably call a continuation budget, which means their, their, their starting assumption is, is a what if nothing changes and what if we have exactly the same budget that we had uh, last year. The Florida School Boards Association says that if the assumption holds true, per pupil funding would be far from the record spending that was promised. It means that they probably start with less per student or in their jargon per FTE because the enrollment increases during the current school year that ends June 30th actually exceeded original forecasts. The lack of a budget has also left critical social service agencies hanging as well. We're looking at some kids. Mike Watkins with the child welfare agency Big Bend Community Based Care says he expects critical services like his will be fine, but they'll still be scrambling at the end of June. The cost is that uh, we're probably going to get a budget at the 11th hour, and we will be working with the executive branch and Department of Children and Families to try to maximize that allocation that legislature passes. And uh, we're going to be doing this in the, in the middle of the night. Lawmakers start working on the state budget on June 1st. Reporting in Tallahassee, I'm Matt Gelka.